A woman says a road rage incident on Segan Lane ended with two men wearing military fatigues shot at her car. This happened last night on North Mall Drive as she exited Segan. Chris Nakamoto spoke to her and has more on what led to that gunfire. Michael, she says two men were tailgating her on Segan Lane when she stopped to let them pass. They didn't. Then she heard a loud bang and found a bullet hole on the side of her car. This black hole on the door handle of Ashley Mitchell's white Jeep gave her the jitter Sunday. It sounded like a, a rock hit my car. And so I got out to, to see what it was, and it was a bullet hole in my car. Um, I was just in, in total shock. Mitchell is grateful That's today, been, though. Never been shot at before. After a terrifying trip to the store Sunday night. Yesterday, I was going to Walmart. Um, I was getting on the off ramp. To, to get on Walmart. There's some guys riding my tail, and I pulled over so they could pass to go around me, and they wouldn't, they wouldn't pass me. So I just kept going, and when I was turning left to go to the Walmart, they decided to pull around me and shoot at the car. Mitchell stunned to see her vehicle with a bullet hole that went through the door handle of her white SUV. In total shock and disbelief. Even more alarmed because she was riding with some precious cargo. I had my kids in the car. Um, I pulled over to see if they actually shot at my car. I looked, I looked at my car to see if there was a bullet hole, and in fact, there was a bullet hole right in the handle of my car. Mitchell says the shooting happened here along North Mall Drive just off of Segan Lane. Right before 6 p.m. She contacted the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office. And detectives came out using tools to remove her door panel. They retrieved the bullet that was still lodged inside her door. Tonight, Mitchell says she can't understand the utter disregard for human life. You can't just go around shooting your guns because you're angry. And knows that this could have turned out much differently. I want you found. I want you prosecuted. I want you to understand that you could have taken my life, my kid's life, and this is wrong on so many levels. Um, I want you brought to justice, and this, this is something I'll never forget for the rest of my life. Mitchell says she recalled seeing the two men driving a black Acura and were both wearing military fatigues. The sheriff's office says it is investigating this incident. Michael.